talk to you about um, the word evolution. That word can scare people, it can make people feel uncomfortable, but really in the science world, all it means is change over time. Change over time physiologically, change over time between genes, between species, and alleles. And there are plenty of examples in the world where species have changed over time. And sometimes they've changed over time so for so long and so many generations that one species diverts into two species and genetically they are so dissimilar now that if they came back together and tried to reproduce, they could not produce fertile living offspring. And that's the definition of speciation where one species turns into two because over time they've genetically changed for so long. An example of this would be say um, there's a mainland and an island and one bird mates with a, a female bird mates with a male bird and she's fertilized but she says I'm done with this mainland place I'm gonna go and I'm going to fly away and go find myself a new place so she flies 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 until she finds an island and she lays her eggs on the island this has happened over time like in Hawaii or any small island that has started out from just lava rock and slowly succession takes in and all of these animals and plants start to grow and live in that island. So we have the mainland and then we have an island. So the bird lays its eggs on its island and over many, many generations, these baby birds will start to interbreed with each other. And if it's a successful interbreeding, then they will, after many, many generations, um, be different genetically from the mainland bird species. Well, let's say one of those female bird species says, I'm out of here after she mates, I'm done, I wanna go and explore somewhere else, and she ends up back at the mainland with the original species one over here. If this original species, if the species two mates with a species one, and the genes have changed so much, and they can't produce um, fertile living offspring anymore, then they become two different species. And this is what Darwin discovered when he was looking at all different kinds of finches. He didn't do any genetics uh, because they didn't have it back then, but he did notice that there were all different kinds of finches and his theory really belie he believed was that it originated from one single finch species. And they've done a lot of studies on this and they realized that he was very close to being correct. Um, and there are lots of other examples. I'll try to give some more examples in a lab that you can do some more research about. There's the moth, uh, black and white moths in London, England. There's the mosquito um, um, hypothesis from the Underground Railroad um, in um, England. So there's all different kinds of um, examples of speciation.